In this video, we'll uncover a relationship between two measures of compactness of regions, the Poulsby Popper method and the Schwarzberg method. Recall that the Poulsby Popper method is calculated by taking the area of the region and dividing that by the area of the circle with the same perimeter as the region. The Schwarzberg method, on the other hand, is calculated by focusing on perimeters. It takes the perimeter of a circle with the same area as the region and divides that by the perimeter of the region. Recall that by writing the ratio in this order with the perimeter of the circle on the top and the perimeter of the region on the bottom, we can ensure that we get a number between 0 and 1. Because a circle is the shape with the smallest perimeter for its area, so the perimeter of a circle with the same area as the region will always be less than or equal to the perimeter of the region. Likewise, by calculating Poulsby Popper as the area of the region divided by the area of the circle, we always get a number between 0 and 1 for Poulsby Popper also, because the circle is the shape with the largest area for its perimeter, and so the denominator here will be bigger than or equal to the numerator. In order to relate the Poulsby Popper score to the Schwarzberg score for a region, let's first rewrite the Poulsby Popper score in terms of two quantities a sub d, the area of the region, or district, and p sub d, the perimeter of the region, or district. First, I'll rewrite the definition of Poulsby Popper. Next, let's focus on the measurement that the two regions have in common. Both the district and the circle have the same perimeter. So I'll write that as p sub c, the perimeter or circumference of the circle, is equal to p sub d, the perimeter of the district. Next, since we're going to need to calculate the area of a circle with the same perimeter as the district, let's first find the radius of that circle. Since we already have an expression for the perimeter of the circle, let's write the formula for perimeter or circumference of the circle, 2 pi r equals perimeter of the circle, which is the same thing as the perimeter of the district, and then solve for r. Next, let's use that radius to find the area of the circle. Our formula for area is that the area of a circle is pi r squared, so that's pi times p sub d over 2 pi squared. I'm going to simplify that a little bit by distributing the square. In other words, pi times p sub d squared over 4 pi squared. I can cancel 1 pi from the numerator with 1 pi from the denominator to get the expression for the area of the circle as p sub d squared over 4 pi. Finally, let's calculate the Poulsby Popper ratio. We have that Poulsby Popper is the area of the district, I'll write that as a sub d, over the area of the circle, which is p sub d squared over 4 pi. Again, I can simplify by flipping and multiplying. That's a sub d times 4 pi over p sub d squared, or in other words, 4 pi times the area of the district over the perimeter of the district squared. Now I have my formula for Poulsby Popper in terms of the area of the district and the perimeter of the district as wanted. This expression has some nice features. In particular, the units of the numerator of the expression and the units of the denominator expression are the same and cancel out. That's because if we're measuring, for example, in terms of kilometers, the area of the district will have units of kilometers squared. The perimeter will have units of kilometers, but since that expression of perimeter is squared, we'll get kilometers squared on the denominator also. That's really nice because now if we were to change units, for example, convert from kilometers to meters by multiplying every unit of kilometers by 1,000 meters per kilometer, we'd end up multiplying the numerator by 1,000 times 1,000 because we have kilometers squared and the denominator by 1,000 times 1,000 for the kilometers squared, and those products of thousands would exactly cancel out, leaving the same final expression whether we use units of meters or kilometers or any other unit of distance. 
In addition, the fact that these units cancel out has the nice effect that if we take our district and we build another district with the same shape, but twice as big in, the lin in each linear direction, so twice as long and twice as wide, then since it's the same shape but just a different size, we want it to have the same compactness score. And in fact, in this expression, it will. That's because when we double the linear dimensions, the area gets four times as big. So the numerator will get four times as big. But the perimeter just gets twice as big. But since that perimeter is squared, the denominator also gets multiplied by a factor of four. And the factors of four on the top and the bottom will cancel out, giving the exact same compactness score, whether we do our original shape or a shape with the same shape but a different size. Now that we've computed a nice formula for Pulsby Popper and observed that it has some nice properties, let's do the same thing for Schwarzberg. So first, I'll recall the definition of Schwarzberg. It's the perimeter of a circle with the same area as the district divided by the perimeter of the district. In this case, the common measurement is area. Both the circle and the district have the exact same area. Once again, let's find the, ratio, the radius of the circle that we're trying to compute the perimeter of this time. Since we know the area of the circle, it's the same as the area of the district, let's use the formula for the area of a circle. The area of a circle is pi r squared, but that's the same thing as the area of the district. And so we can solve for r. r squared is the area of the district over pi, and so r is the square root of the area of the district over pi. Now that we have an expression for the radius of the circle, let's find the perimeter using the formula for the perimeter or circumference of a circle, which is 2 pi r, or in this case, 2 times pi times the square root of a sub d over pi. Now we're ready to write down an expression for the Schwarzberg ratio. That's going to be the perimeter of the circle with the same area, so 2 pi square root of a sub d over pi, divided by the perimeter of the district, which we're writing as p sub d. Let's simplify this expression, this time by moving things under the square root sign. I can rewrite 2 pi as the square root of 2 pi quantity squared, multiply that by square root of a sub d over pi, and I can rewrite p sub d as the square root of p sub d squared. Now the product and quotient of square roots is the same thing as taking the square root of a product and quotient. I can rewrite this as the square root of 4 pi squared a sub d over pi all divided by p sub d squared, or by canceling pi's I get the square root of 4 pi a sub d over p sub d squared. Now, this expression should look familiar because it's exactly the square root of the expression we got for the Pulsby Popper ratio. That means the region's Schwarzberg score is the square root of its Pulsby Popper score. And so if I have a bunch of regions, even though their Schwarzberg compactness scores will be different from their Pulsby Popper compactness scores, the ordering of the scores will still be the same. If one region has a score, a Pulsby Popper score, that's less than another region's score, when I compute the Schwarzberg scores, it's just the same as the square roots, those numbers will also be in the same order. In addition, the formula for the Schwarzberg score has the same nice feature that the units cancel as Pulsby Popper did. Schwarzberg, thinking about perimeter, would have units of kilometers over kilometers. If I converted to units of meters, it would be units of meters over meters, and the number, the multiplication by a thousand used to do the conversion would cancel. And just like with Pulsby Popper, Schwarzberg doesn't change if the size of the region changes, only if its shape changes. If you have two regions with the same shape but different sizes, they'll have the same Schwarzberg score. In this video, we found a formula
for the Poulsby popper score. It turns out to be 4 pi times the area of the district divided by the perimeter of the district squared. We also found a formula for the Schwarzberg score, which turns out to be the square root of this same expression. Therefore, the Schwarzberg score of a region is the square root of its Poulsby popper score.